so amazing. Oh, do you have Mountain Dew? Miss the shit. So different, it's gonna be fun, and we're here for part two about particularly if you have depression or if you've seen someone sad signs or you think they have it. Yeah, so today we're gonna to talk about it in a better way and we'll be giving you how to like do our well with it and to finally get back into a better mental state. And today I'm here with a very nice friend of mine. It's called Ben. You guys should be happy. And someone is here, sure. and he's called Ben. He's actually here. So we're gonna be talking about depression and also how to get out of depression. So yes, I hope you enjoy this video. So basically, it's my friend Ben, and yeah, I like, yeah. I like, I like how you say get out of depression. Like depression is something you can get out of. Like, I, you guys want to get out of depression? Like, it's like we're teaching about you depressed better. Getting out of this. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Maybe I use the wrong word. Anyway, I'm not English, so I think it's how to um how to get over depression and get it better. Yeah, first of all, how do you think people get depression? Like, how does it even come about? You know, people need to know like comes over time, yes, but then not everything I said in my previous video actually. Not like everything I said, but so, what do you mean? Well, funny thing is, like, I, I have actually been exploring my spiritual side this 2020. <laughs> and this is going to sound awkward. <laughs> yeah, this is going to sound awkward. But I, I actually do really, really, really think that like, depression is, is first the spiritual before it manifests in the physical. I feel like, uh, um, I mean, I was, I, was, I was reading the Bible, and, and, and the Bible is talking about the story of King Saul. Uh, when, when God sends him a spirit that ends up to God, and you know, we see him going through this whole period of, 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 of just basically being depressed and then he was paying him a half to try to get him over the whole episode of his depression. And I thought to myself, well, this is actually a big question. I, I, I really think it's, it's once again, this is my take. I, I feel like it's, very, it's a very spiritual thing because. I mean, it resides on the inside. Because I, I know you mentioned the fact that I mean, we're talking about this and the other like, Could you actually see someone and feel the depression? It seems to me that most people are actually in depression. You should never look like it. I mean, it would make it easier for you to say, oh yeah, that person is depression. Oh, that's depression walking right there. But then I feel like it's on the inside. I, I really feel like it's something spiritual. Like, yeah, well, right. yeah, I think yeah, what you're saying is true. It's actually spiritual, but also you can see too when someone has depression, especially if you're like very close friends, like really close. I'm not saying like just like I don't know, maybe you like sisters because their behavior like changes. You know, it's weak. Like you really say which is actually true. Sorry. So when someone gets depressed, they start to act weird. So my friends and I'm no longer interested in what to say, and I just do not like hanging out with you. And like we going swimming, and the next next time we were like, oh, well, let's go swimming. And like, oh no, I I want to go swimming today. Like it's a daily routine. I think it's a bit if you're a person who like pays very key attention to your friends, you can just be like, no, this person is like, well. And, and I think that way someone can easily get over. I mean, sorry, can actually like get fine from depression. Like if I, the person takes that step, like if they take a step to like ask you what's like really going on, so that you can be able to look over it. And at the end of the day, like you, you get connected back, and then you start living a normal life a bit. Like you try adjusting some things. Of course, you don't just come and I'm just like listening. And listening, and I'm like not doing anything. Okay, I I I think the the, the two important things I said. Yeah, it seems to me that uh, uh, very many times. Is it, is it that that people who are depressed um, are waiting for someone to talk to, or it's that the things they want to talk to are so hard that they can't just talk about them? Because it seems to me that that even if you get, went to someone who is depressed and they don't want to open up about their depression, then you never go anywhere about it. And I mean, people can see people like 
example, like yeah. you just met you recently, but then I know you very, very much attention, <laughs> attention spans and everything. And I mean, if I was here, you wouldn't give me any attention. So I thought you would be first, and then like, oh, no, nah. I was just, my mind had just wondered, but for me, now he's in the nature of the talk, and yet you still remain depressed. So, I, see, I, I think people who are depressed actually find it hard to talk about their depression more than them wanting to actually talk about it, even if people are very good to talk about it. I feel like, yeah, it does help that you know, there are people around you can talk to all the time. But then I feel like, in most cases, depression usually takes on the form of whereby it's actually very hard for you to talk about the things you don't want to talk about. I mean, I feel like being depressed before, I, I mean, I still had my friends around, and I can't really blame them for my depression or what happened. But then I just want it so hard to share some of the things. And I also feel like sometimes it comes in the topic of masculinity, you know, and then the open up kind of things. Like, I mean, he's my friend, like, so, then the camera attacker, credit be given to you. <laughs> I'm in your but yeah, but he's my friend, he comes around to make them play, maybe video games, the, the whole evening and the whole afternoon and everything. And I'm so depressed, but he won't be able to know him because I know, as long as I'm new to the evening, that's enough to make him but I also think, I also think in the people who are depressed really like me too, because if someone doesn't love, they do not like to go on and play a person that really love you. See, it's just like when the doctor and you're like saying you're sick, but then you're acting super fine, like, so that's what I'm supposed to like, say, like you're sick or like, um, you need help. So I think when someone is depressed, like, you should actually need the help. Okay, yeah, maybe there's some abnormal human beings like, like, excuse me, <laughs> that like being depressed, but I, I think when someone is depressed, they should really like, feel like they need the help. And if they do really need the help, they won't have to play the student, like me coming and pretending over here, and I'm like, oh, let's take a selfie, what? And it doesn't really make sense. Just like the end of it all, there are the things that if the person just wants to talk to other people, at least the, those are the remedies that they can use, like maybe like having something like a social life is like the bad way, because either way it's going to increase the whole thing, like so maybe just put you up like, oh, I think we should go to this tonight, meet some friends, oh, you're not tonight, guys, I want to this to you today, yes, so like go out at the beach and have some fun, like if, if you do it like almost in a routine, like, people can kind of get over it because you see, one of the reasons people get depressed is because they feel like they're being left out. Like if you had a close friend, you don't have that close, what's wrong with you? Don't you like get depressed or something like that? I think, I think, I think also maybe depression is more it doesn't talk about depression. <laughs> we are actually, actually talking about it from the outside point of view perspective. You know, we are here, we are there, okay, people, and then they are over there, and they are depressed people. But do you think you can actually come to yourself and say, actually, I'm a depressed person? At what point, at what point does it stop being a mood swing? At what point does it stop being just being something that is supporting? At what point does it stop being sad and become depression? I think you have a point here, but I think it's just a How do you accept what you don't know that you actually do? Like, how do you actually make a person? That is why people need to like go on and I think there's like some like in our lives, and about what it is in the life, like something that you get to do. I like talked about, like how we can like try and create we are depressed or not. Because can't be sad for an entire week and you find that you know, and then suddenly it's like combined with stress, like combined with very bad things, and it's also like combined with isolation, and then you call it post. Thank you.
Like it has one solution. It's like, it's like the big rest, he is the solution. Like, you know, like, like, you don't know, really think I don't think everyone's everyone's depression is so like, so like, so exactly, so for example, I don't know. I mean, some subject is so hard up on the subject. For us, for some people, maybe it would be really a very good advice and talk, talk it over with themselves. But then, if maybe the guy is toxic, maybe for a resolution, it would be to actually cut him off actually for, for himself. I feel like most of the people have depression set. Okay, what do you do for depression? Like, for example, if I came to you and I was depressed, like, how do you know what is the right thing for me? Well, you guys, I'm very prayerful and just left when I get back. So, the first thing I'll she, she actually has actually discovered like a skill to, to measure when I get back. I want to try that as well. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> the first cold. thing I'll tell you, the first thing I'll tell you is to pray to God about it. And it's just like praying without a name. I mean, you go to God and be like, Lord, I'm not feeling fine. Don't by the spirit is like not feeling okay. I'm just like in the right mood. I'm always feeling this world. Like, I'm so okay. It's really like, I'm 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 like, I
how someone can like try to get out of depression, but it's like in a lighter mode, and I will um, be in conversation mode, and I hope this video like helps any of you who are out there and you're like not feeling good. So that's, that's the purpose of this video. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to see you guys. Don't forget. 14th by 14th, oh sorry, February 14th, 2020 is Valentine's. So, who are going out with? Like, one of the ways you can get away with um, us. Are you get can get out with the first one? Yes, Valentine's, like, we try and go out with Valentine's for Valentine's, even if it's not with a boy, even if it's not with really anyone. Exactly, they have, I think they have offers. But I hope you like this video. It has so many solutions to be sure. Just listen, like it, put a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and we'll meet you next week. Bye bye.